Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back to another video. All right, let's check it out what we got for you right now. We have an Italian classic from back in the days. Very fashionable looking car. Well, let me do a proper presentation. What we got in front of us, it's a... Uh, 143 scale, 1950, Lancia Aurelia B10. Gorgeous looking Italian car. This is actually one of my oldest cars that I have from, I usually like to collect cars from, I would say from the late, late forties up. That's my, my um, target. I have one or two. They were gifts, so I hold them with a lot of value that are like from the 1930s, which I posted one a long time ago. It was a Dodge uh, Coca-Cola truck. Really cute car. But this one right here, this is a beautiful Lancia Aurelia, first generation of the Aurelia. This model came in 1950 all the way down to 1958. Started from the beginning, I like those suicidal doors. You know, the rear doors that open backwards the against the other door. I think it, it makes the car look weird because we're not used to it nowadays. But um, a few cars do it nowadays like that just for being practical, but it's not common no more. Now, this car has a lot of presence. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I've never seen one in person. I like the front end. It's very in your face, you know, like that big grill. That um, The rear, it looks like two cars were connected to each other, but it doesn't look like they were the same car. The rear looks so different from the front to my eye. But it's cute. It's cute. Now, this car... They made them only as a V6. V6, no four cylinders here. You had a 1.8, figure that out, 1.8 V6. Nowadays, you got cars like the Fiat 500, I think, has a bigger engine. <laughs> but a 1.8 with a V6. Then you had a 2.0, a 2.3, and a 2.5. But all of them were six cylinders. This car only came as a four-speed manual. No automatics here. If you like automatics, look another another direction. This was not the car, the car for you. Now, this car came in different styles, body styles. You had the four-door saloon or sedan, how we call it in North America, which is the one that we're looking at right now. You had a two-door coupe, a two-door spider, and a two-door convertible. So, you know, if you didn't like one, you got the other. If you had a family, you want, you probably want to go for this one. If you were someone that wants to have a lot of fun or maybe just keep it simple in life. You want to have a coupe, a spider, a convertible, you know? There's choices for everybody. Now, obviously, this is the, is the post-war, the, you know, the war that back in 1942. This is the post-war land tradition. It was, they were called after a Roman road. It's called. This car was called, the name of it, it was after a Roman road. The road was called Via Aurelia, which is the road that goes from Rome to Pisa. Hey, that's interesting. I didn't know that. You see, you always learn something new with these cars, with names and what were they, what were they for. You know, there's always something new. I love reading those things. And by the way, I have also a video, or I'm going to make a future video. I'm not sure if I made one of the coupe, of the Lange Aurelia coupe. All right, guys. So I'm going to let it go around a few times, and I'll be right back.
Okie dokie, Smokey, I'm back. You know, this car, looking at it, it does remind me a lot of the 50s, even some of the 40s. You know, looking at the headlights, once it goes around, you can just notice that the it's, it's sticking out. The headlight is sticking out the part of the glass, which that was very common back in the days with other cars. As you see it from the side, you're going to notice it right now. If you see it, the headlights were sticking out. Also, the wheels, the wheels, those classic old school 1950s and 40s, that's, you know, that had a center cap in the middle, but then the outside was like little, you know, a lot of holes around. Very, very classic looking car. I wish I ever seen one in person. You know, I tell you, back in the days, cars were so attractive, even though nowadays too. But now they're more into technology. Back in the days, they were more about comfort and looks and making sure that you were happy where you're driving. I don't say nowadays it's not the same, but it's even though I never lived the 50s, I'm not even close to the 50s. I'm from the 80s. But I find the cars from back in the days so regal and even though these cars were not that big lunch is not a big model i mean they were not a huge model like american cars but they still had their looks all right guys enough enough <laughs> don't forget to give me that beautiful thumbs up that i always appreciate when you're doing it thank you so much do not forget to click and subscribe and click the bell next to the subscribe button it will remind you when i'm posting more videos and comment below what you guys think about these cars. Do you like classic Italian cars from the 60s and 50s? What cars you're into? What models you like? Have you ever seen one of these in person? Have you ever drove one of these? Were well, they sold in your country? All right, everyone. Take care of yourselves more than ever. And goodbye.